Good morning. I'm in the same location I was yesterday, uh, but today I want to talk about design and creating energy and life in your painting. And you do that by breaking up the space uh, to create tension. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that today. Now first, uh, let's take a look. This is the same scene as yesterday, but it, uh, I'll do a separate uh, quick take on, uh, on light, the use of light, which you can see the light is, it's, it's a lot brighter today. There are a lot more shadows, a lot more darks and lights, so there's the extremes. However, today I'm going to talk about design, and most landscapes are done on what we call uh, paper when it's, it's in this direction. Uh, when you put it like so, people call that portrait. This is landscape. Uh, you can do a landscape on paper like this, or size like this, shape like this, or, or you can do it this way. Uh, I'm more comfortable doing it in this direction, and this is what I did yesterday. So, how do you break up the space? Now, you know, a painting is really, it's a stagnant thing, but the art shouldn't be stagnant. So, I think it's important that you understand that, first of all, the eye, the first place it goes is right here in the upper left-hand corner. If you know that, <clears throat> it can help you maybe start to break up the space. All right, so I'm not going to want to put anything right in the center. Um, I've seen work that has been technically superb, uh, executed beautifully and yet it is dead. There is no energy. So I need to create some tension just with the basic layout of the landscape. So I can break up my space. I just don't want to be even. You don't want symmetry. Avoid symmetry at all costs. So I'm going to try and do this. The paper <laughs> It's going to move on me a little bit. I'm going to put it on top of here so it doesn't move so much. All right, so I'm going to, looking at my landscape, okay, I've got a series of valleys, I have the Alps off in the distance, I have my foreground, my middle ground, and my background. So most of my landscapes lately have been uh, middle ground and background, really far. I haven't been doing a lot of close-ups, we'll be, I'll be doing some buildings and whatnot uh, in the next weeks or so, because I'm going to be heading into different communities in the area. So if I do that, right? It's pretty, pretty flat. I've got things right at dead center. But what if I do this and this? Then I start to create some tension. All right, and I broke. I basically, I've got my mountains in the distance. I have you know, a valley here, and then I've got the mountains or the valley here. And then if I want to, I can do this as well to create even more tension. So that's what I wanted to talk about today, giving life and energy to your painting. Um, just remember, don't start in the center, go off to the side, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for today. I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. From Grass France, merci beaucoup.